Hi, so my name is Tyler Maley. I'm mathematics faculty at Marion Technical College. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about how to get registered for my math lab for Math 910. Um, so I'm in student view in a Math 910 class, and I made a test uh, student account, and I'm going to show you how to walk through those steps. Um, so the first thing um, is you'll just go to Canvas and log in, and then once you're logged in and at your course, um, you'll see a button on the left here, my Math Lab and Mastering. Um, you're going to click on that. And then um, here you'll see some student um, student links. Um, you can click on either one. I recommend whenever you want to access my math lab, clicking on this link because this will launch you into the full my math lab course. So if you click on this, um, initially it's going to ask you to agree to this licensure agreement. So you click I accept. And then um, the first thing is it's asking you um, to sign in with your Pearson account or to create uh, a Pearson account. Right? So if you don't have a Pearson account, um, you would just click create and create that. Um, if you already have one, um, so it could be for any subject, even math or IT, is if, if you have any account with Pearson, uh, then you can log in here. So um, as I said, I already created a mock Pearson account, so I click on that. Um, and then so if if you create an account you'll cr go through the motions and create the account you'll put in like your address and email and, and different fields right that I asked for um, and then after you've done that or after you've signed in like I have it'll prompt you up here and it's basically just saying hey how are you gonna pay uh, for the my math lab access so um, you were asked to purchase the uh, textbook that comes with an access code so if you have that already you can click here um, and type that in um, if you don't have um, the the access code, you can purchase one by clicking on this link, right? So you can use credit card or PayPal um, to buy that here. Um, or if if you're you know may, maybe need some time for your book to ship to you or um, or whatever your situation may be, you can also click on this link to get temporary access for 14 days, right? So you can click on that, right? Um, so that's how you can get into um, get into my math lab that way right All right so I'm going to leave student view and just show you a few things on my math lab All right so again it, it's gonna look a little different because now I'm in my instructor settings uh, but when you click on my math lab and mastering um, remember you just see these student links um, so you can click on, um, again, I, I recommend clicking on the one that says Course Home, and that will launch you into the full Pearson site. So after you've registered and you've said that, um, that you're paying, um, then it'll open up in, in my math lab. Right. So I haven't opened up this section in particular yet so um, just taking a few moments to get into the course all right so so after you click on this link um, once you're registered this this pops up right these screens so this is actually in my math lab um, but notice there's no sign in, right? So that's one nice feature of this way of syncing my math lab is you never have to sign in. Um, so all you do is click on my math lab here, click on this link, course home, and you're launching on my math lab. And this is how you can access um, your homework, you can access the uh, course textbook and so forth, right? Um, so like here I can click on e-text and click view e-text for the course. So just take a moment to load here. So you can see now I'm in inside of the e-text, right? So I can open up the folders. I can jump to specific sections. So maybe I want to look at, I don't know, 110, which is scatter plots. Um, I have access to that, right? Also, there's a lot of, both, a lot of clickable links within the textbook. Um, so for example, there's videos um, attached inside of the book 
Uh, so if you see this icon, this is a uh, video. So if I'm in the ebook, um, it's a hyperlink. I can just click on that. And it'll take me right to the video that deals with um, that particular part of the book, right? So this um, this is walking through how to create a scatter plot, right? So as you're searching through, um, as you're reading through the the actual textbook, the hard copy, um, you might notice those video icons, and you can feel free to check those out on, on the ebook, right? In my math lab, like I've shown you. Um, Right. There's, there's a lot of things you can do inside the ebook. So I can come up here and I can search for a particular topic. I can go back and forth pages, right? I can like highlight things and bookmark things and so forth, right? So there's a lot, a lot that we can do, right? I can even minimize um, um, and maximize the print here, right? And so forth. All right. So I think that's good for the ebook. And then um, to get into your homework, right? You click on assignments and I can see my homework assignments here. All right, so I can click on question one, open up the homework, <clears throat> and you can see the built-in question, right? Um, so I, when I click in boxes, right, notice down here below um, are some math um, formatting uh, tools here. I can also click on more to get more options, right? So this is helpful for me to be able to pull um, different math symbols that I might need in, throughout, in, in the course, right? And there's also this question help button um, that I can get some help on um, on a particular homework assignment, right? And you can keep doing a homework problem until you get it right, right? So everyone should have 100%, uh, percent, right? Uh, and just a note, um, if you're taking a quiz, you won't have this question help feature, but, um, but it can be nice to help you um, learning some content in the homework, right? So it's a great learning tool, all right? So again, I just wanted to make this quick video, so it's just about seven minutes long. Um, if you have questions over this, you know, please go to the math lab. We'll be glad to help you um, ask your instructor. Um, but this should be enough to get you started and get ready to do your homework. Thanks.